Yo, what's up, guys? My name is The Closer, and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. And today we have another college basketball slate. Uh, but first, let's go over yesterday. Yesterday was actually um, one of my first like losing days in a while. Uh, I went four and five, uh, but on like I think it was Friday or Saturday, I did not have a a plus line money line hit, so it wasn't like a split for me. But uh, yesterday I got losses from Clemson. That was a close game at the end, but they just couldn't pull it off. Loyola Chicago barely slipped out of the. Uh, Covering the spread at the end of the game. Georgia Tech did the same. So did Indiana State. And Chicago State just like drifted out at the end. We got wins from Kansas State. They won straight up as a seven and a half point dog. We got Illinois minus eight. They dominated that game. And Furman plus five and a half. They were winning that whole game. And then they end up losing at the end. But covering the spread. And then Buffalo absolutely dominated. So we are now... 74 and 58 hitting at a 56.1 percent on the season for college basketball still not a bad thing uh, not a bad uh percentage there but let's get right into this slate i have at this moment four picks for you guys and uh let's get right into it the first game we have is Northeastern and Syracuse, 18 point spread. Syracuse are minus 2,500 plus 1150 run back for Northeastern. And we are going to be taking the orange here, uh, minus 18. My model projects them to win by 22.8 points. And uh, that is 4.8 points of value on that line. So if you want, we can also, I'm just kidding. But uh, I'm looking to bet Syracuse minus 1,800. Uh, again, or minus 18, not 1800 against Northeastern. All right. Now, the next three games are all at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, which kind of sucks. If I'll probably, if you follow my Twitter at Nicholas underscore Earl, um, I'll probably have more plays up today. Seeing that, uh, my mo I'll probably wait for my model to come out with more stuff uh, potentially to bet on. But right now, all we have is four plays. Um, next, we have the Northern Dame Fighting Irish taking on the Duke Blue Devils. And we uh, it's a three and a half point spread. Minus 170 plus 150 run back on Northern Dame. And we're going to be taking Duke minus three and a half here. My model has them winning by 10 and a half points, creating... 22 points of value or wow, creating seven points of value. I don't know where I'm looking at 22 on the Syracuse game, but um, creating uh, seven points of value on that line, which is probably a two unit play for me here. Uh, Syracuse minus three or Duke minus three and a half uh, against Northern Dame is going to be probably a big play for me. It's my best bet of the day. Next, we've got Arizona State taking on UTEP. It's a 13.5 point spread, minus 1250, run back of plus 775. And we're going to be taking Arizona State here, minus 13.5. Uh, they're projected to win by 18.2 on my model, which will be a 4.7 points of value on that line which is st uh, still a very nice value. It's actually the lowest value play of the slate, but there's only four plays, so it's not saying too much. Uh, but I'm looking to take Arizona State here, minus 13.5 versus UTEP. And our final game of the uh, night is Washington versus Montana. And I feel like Montana is my kryptonite. I think I'm 0-3 or 0-4 while betting on Montana. But here we go. We're going back at it. Uh, my model has Washington winning by two points, which creates a nice five and a half points of value on this line. Maybe a plus 270 money line sprinkle, but I'm not probably planning on it. Um, but hopefully I can get Montana right this time. Uh, they are 
there is five and a half points of value on that line according to my model. Let's recap all of our plays here today. I know it's a very light video, but uh, some days just the value is in 100% there. We have Syracuse, minus 18 versus Northeastern. And we have all the way to the 9 o'clock games. We have Duke, minus 3.5 against Notre Dame. Arizona State, minus 13.5 versus UTEP. And then we have Montana, plus 7.5 against Washington. That is going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. If this information was helpful to you guys at any point, hit that, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are creating daily content here at Earl Sports Bets, and we have plenty of sports we're going over right now. We have uh, college basketball, NFL, college football, UFC, esports, uh, NBA, WNBA, NHL, and MLB. NBA starting in six days. So that should be fun. Uh, my brother Tim will be on a lot of videos for those. And uh, we'll have plenty of content coming out for Earl Sports Bets here uh, for the time to come. So be sure to subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified every single time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. But that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next.